Hey guys, welcome to the channel Tech Pro Shivam. And today I'm going to talk about how to remove uncover from your device completely and uh, then upgrade iOS 12 to iOS 13 and which method you're going to you're going to need to upgrade to iOS 13. Totally I'm going to cover today in this topic. Now as you guys know all sign services are down right now. Uh, uh, some of people unable to download uncover app and uh, I'll, I'll suggest as soon as you will get the sign server and just download the uncover app and get rid of this uncover and um, you know upgrade to check rent jailbreak so in my case i'm doing the same i haven't restarted my mobile and now, now uncover is still working so i have decided to upgrade to the ios 13 and uh, very soon i'm gonna jailbreak my device with the uh, check rent uh, on mac and uh, very soon i'm gonna show you the windows version how to jail uh, jailbreak you uh, with the check rent and windows version is uh, still uh, not officially released so stay tuned for that okay moving ahead how to remove uncover uh, from your device go to the setting app and now you can see in general op uh, about uh, i'm running on ios 12.1 no need of taking any backup for your device because this this method doesn't require uh, you know backups and all that it will simply remove from your device uh, with the one click go to the uncover uh, in setting uh, there there you need to find out like uh, restore root fs and just uh, no need of any uh, clicking any other button just uh, restore root fs and that's it so once you see that uh, restore root, root fs appear on there and just start click on it once you click that you will get a notice will restore root fs this may take a while don't exit app and don't let the device lock once you hit ok it will start restoring uh, root fs and uh, it will wipe out all the uh, jailbreaking stuff now you can see the notice has appeared and it's saying that uh, root fs has been successfully restored the device will now be restarted in some of uh, your case might be like uh, it will take two or two th three attempts in my case it took only one op uh, attempt and that's it so the device has been restarted and now we can see the CDI has been completely removed uh, there is no CDI in my mobile as you can see and I'm still running on iOS 12.1 now you see that's simple how it is now you can see the uncover is not responding because we are not in a jailbroken mode right now and uh, okay if you have anything like a profile install now get rid of that you can go to the profile and just remove those profile now you no longer needed those profile i having one profile which is like tvos for uh, you know stopping the ios uh, updates and all that just uh, I have removed it and now we can see 12.1 and I'm trying to uh, you know update the software it's not getting unable to check the software it will happens when you you know get rid of this uh, root FS system so I'm trying to restarting my mobile uh, and uh, I'll try one more time you know can I get that update from the system itself or not so still it's unable to check the device update now the next method I'm gonna show you for that you required a computer to upgrade uh, to iOS 13. Okay, I'll suggest you to turn off your uh, Find My iPhone uh, option uh, if it is on uh, for the for to upgrade. Uh, you know to do this method. Uh, now I'm gonna do that for my device. Now once it is completely turned off, uh, uh, go to just restart your device. For the next method you really doesn't require any backup but uh, for the safer side i'll suggest you to take a backup because i'm upgrading it but I, uh, it doesn't really require the backup for my device now uh, go to the mac or windows and go to the ipsw.me uh, in safari or chrome wherever you go just search out ipsw.me and uh, click on the download button once you are in the website now you can see a lot of devices are there just select your um, particular device which you wanna get the backup so in my case i have iphone se so i'm gonna click on it and there you can see the 13.23 uh, and 13.22 uh, is right now is currently signed and the red color you're watching those are unsigned by apple right now because and it's difficult to you know get those things now you make sure you select the green one and download whichever you want in my case i'm uh, taking 13.2.2 I'll suggest you to ident uh, you know set your identifier uh, like in my case I have uh, iPhone 8 uh, dash 4 in your device it might be some different one so you have to get it from the uh, when you connect to the iTunes uh, there you can see uh, 
the identifier uh, numbers for your device uh, i'm gonna show you uh, for a moment later so right now uh, the ipsw.me uh, backup is taking and it will take a while based on your internet connection version i'm downloading about uh, 3.42 gb and it took 20 minutes for me to download once it is downloaded i'm connecting my phone to the windows and then itunes will open now once it's detected your device the window you're gonna get like this now i'll suggest you to take a backup for safer side from here you can take a backup and if you see iphone se on the top side iphone se and the capacity and the phone number and the serial number you see downside if you click on the serial number you're gonna get the identifier number for your device hope you understand how to get identifier number now i'm gonna tell you how to update your device now uh, if you have the window you just uh, select on the update and the shift button at the same same time and then uh, <clears throat> it's gonna pop up on your device uh, and the, for the Mac I'm gonna tell you the um, click the option button and the update, update button and uh, then it will pop up like this um, just select your update which you have downloaded from the IPSW.me and uh, it will start extracting the software and you can see the you have to enter the password once you install then it will then it will start uh, downloading on your device uh, your mobile will get restart and there we go it it will start downloading on your device it will take a while to you know extract those items and download on your system and once it is done it will take another process to you know uh, install on your device to update the iOS version and uh, it, this is gonna take a while for me it took almost like 20 to 25 minutes and it's done and then once it is done it will restart your device and there we go so software update is completed and I'm now I'm on iOS 13.2.2 finally okay let's click agree to terms and condition and uh, okay I'll set it now not now and the appearance you can see that light mode and dark mode is finally here as you can see it doesn't wipe out my data and uh, i don't no need of my back, backing up my device it's uh, simply updated my device now you can see in general mode i'm, I'm on ios 13.2 now who are watching this video i hope this uh, video you understand properly i try to explain uh, all the stuff and uh, you know so i hope you like this video if you like this video just hit that thumbs up button and subscribe the channel and if you have any doubt about this uh, video just uh, go ahead and comment uh, in the comment box I'll, I'll answer your all questions so guys my next video will be how to jailbreak check with check rain on mac and the windows version also uh, coming really soon um, as soon as uh, the official version is coming so that's it for today uh, thank you for watching the video and this is shivam signing off peace